Hey gang, it's Pastor Jerry here. Gosh, it's um, 11-19 on New Year's Day. And um, I'm at the church now. And so I was getting ready to leave the office and I just thought of something I want to share with you guys real quick just to kind of help you move forward in 2020 this year. Um, our theme for our church all year long, all this year is called All In. And that simply means that you're going to literally jump off of a cliff, not literally, figuratively jump off a cliff, figuratively jump out of an airplane with no parachute, figuratively, um, instead of putting your toes in the water, jump in the river, the White Rapid River, and just allow God to take you where he wants to take you. And I want to challenge you guys this today. Uh, this is the first day of 2020. And to be all in, something has to die. And um, that means part of you, that means a lot of your past, that means also a lot of the dreams that you have for yourself. Because if you're all in, you're all in for the purpose of who made you. And who made you is, is, is God. And he has a purpose and a plan. He, had a pur he has a purpose and a plan, or he had one for you, when he allowed you to be born, when he, when he allowed you to be conceived in your mother's womb. Um, David says in the book of Psalms that, uh, he knitted us together in our mother's room. So he had a purpose and a plan. And so for you to be all in for 2020, something's got to die. And what has to die is 2019. We've all made mistakes in 2019. We've all sinned in 2019. Um, we've all have regrets of 2019. We all have things that we would have done differently in 2019, but here's the deal because today is here. 2019 is gone. And you can't relive, you can't revisit, you can't um, rediscover. You have to move on from 2019. And there's so many things I can think of right now that I would have done differently that I know that for 2020, I'll do it differently because I'm wiser, I'm stronger, um, I'm more discerning, just like you are, I'm sure. And we are even more focused on who we are as Christians. Acts 17, 28 says, in Christ we live and move and have our identity. And that literally means that everything that we are and everything that we are becoming and everything that we are to be is in Christ. And so we can't, we can't ever plan out our own future. Um, we have to say, Jesus, where do you want me to be? How can I be in the center of your will? And how do I get there? And you get there by dying. Uh, Jesus said that unless a a seed falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. And when you die to yourself, when you die to your own purposes, because our purposes are selfish. And so when you die to your own plans, you literally say, Jesus, here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a living sacrifice, holding and pleasing unto you. That's Romans 12. And you're saying, what I want doesn't matter anymore, but what you want is all that matters because you made me. And so now I'm going to die to myself and let other and let myself be glorified and then allow your purpose to flow through me. And and, you know, we can get all caught up in our right now, our life on Earth. But our life on Earth may last 100 years. Hypothetically, it may last a few years longer, but our lives in eternity will last forever. And that's a long, long time. And so. I challenge you guys to get your eyes off of what you're doing right now that matters and what you're going to be doing in eternity. Um, and yes, we may go to heaven. Hopefully, yeah, that's a good deal. But what will you be doing in heaven for eternity? Um, we definitely don't want to go to hell. But even when you die and go to heaven, will you be rewarded with what is really yours because you've done what is in the purpose of God. Because my whole goal, I'm sure yours is too, is for God to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So with that in mind, let 2019 die. Forget about it. Be all in for 2020. Let God truly use you in 2020 because every because something has to die for you to be all in. And I said on church Sunday, I said, I've never seen a mom regret, regret the pain of having a baby. And as a matter of fact, some women do it over and over again because the pain is worth the process and the purpose. And when you have a purpose for your pain, it's awesome. And you'll do it over and over again.
So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm out of here now. And as you know, I'm going to Israel. So please keep me in prayer. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope to take you guys along. I'm going to try to do a vlog every night. I'm there. And uh, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go there. So anyway, have a great New Year's. And um, take advantage of every day because every day isn't promised to you. Uh, and so tell the ones that you love, you love them more and more and more and tell the ones that don't love you, uh, that you love them because, um, they need to see the light of Christ in us. All right. Have a great week and, um, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.